Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over some Roku apps, some Roku channels. Now we've done a video like this before, but it was the top 10 Roku apps. The really good stuff, the best of the best, the stuff you cannot do without. Today is a little different. This is hidden gems on Roku. So let's dive in. All right, welcome back everybody. If you like this video, if you find it helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe because we're gonna do more videos on hidden gems on the Fire TV, the Chromecast, Apple TV, that sort of thing. So today let's dive into Roku. The way this is gonna be a little different, like I said, this is not the top 10 must haves. We're gonna skip right past those and go to the stuff that I think is a little bit, uh, you know, buried underneath the surface. So some of them you may have heard of, others should be new to you. I just hope you find two or three new channels for yourself that you can really get into. So on my home screen here, I'm gonna skip right past all the big stuff, all the Netflixes and uh, you know, uh, HBO and all that. And I'm gonna come down here to Film Rise. This is our first pick. Technically I have like 12 apps on here by the way, but I'm kind of combining a few like Film Rise, free movies and TV and Film Rise, free TV. Here's the dirty secret basically the same thing. They've got a few versions like Film Rise Kids, but they all do the same thing, which is kind of similar to what Netflix does, uh, but commercial supported. So if you've ever heard of Tubi, this is going to be similar to something like Tubi, where it's commercial supported content. Uh, and it's going to be some titles, a lot that you don't care about, of course, but some that you do. Third Rock from the Sun, fantastic show from the 90s. And who doesn't want to watch Batman all over again uh, or Lost in Space, the good one. Uh, so yeah, a lot of good stuff on here. I highly recommend Film Rise TV. Next up is Haystack TV. They're all named something TV, right? Haystack TV, local and world news. So there are a lot of news aggregation apps out there. Haystack is one that not a lot of people have heard of yet, but that I think is pretty darn good because you can customize your feed with the types of stories that you actually care about. So maybe politics. In my case, uh, you know, I've got my local stuff here. I like science and technology. So they're going to have picks for you based on what you actually want to see. Next up is another pairing that I quite enjoy. Baby Boomer Cartoons and Baby Boomer TV. Can you guess what's in there? You should be able to, it's pretty easy. Baby Boomer TV, I'm gonna go into this one here because it includes both the cartoons and the live action stuff that you used to watch, that, well, you used to watch, I don't know how old you are. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of classic TV. So whether it's cartoons or Mr. Ed <laughs> or the Dick Van Dyke Show, all this stuff is there for you to stream, commercial supported, of course. The other one, Baby Boomer Cartoons, is just the cartoon side of that. So if that's all you're interested in, it's a great one. But I like the TV app a little bit more because it incorporates both of those uh, concepts. All right, next up, another pair, Eater and Bon Appetit. Now, these are both food-related apps, but they are different, and they do pair well together, like a fine wine and a cheese, you might say. All right, first up is Eater. Now this is going to be food related content. This one is not going to concentrate on recipes and how to's and all of that stuff. This is more about stories that have to do with food. And so you can click through and see all the stuff that they're gonna be talking about. Uh, you know, food porn, I like to call it. It's really pretty good stuff. I love uh, watching all these people talk about their food, um, you know, adventures. So they've got people who travel for food related things. They've got eater profiles, restaurant profiles, that sort of thing. Uh, so this is food related stories. On the other hand, if we go over to Bon Appetit, this one is going to be, it, it will have some of that food related story content, but it's gonna be a lot more about uh, the recipes and the how to's. So for instance, Molly makes chicken soup. So if we click into here, Molly is gonna walk us through the actual process and we're gonna see exactly what she does and how she does it. Or if we pop over here to recipes, find something you wanna make. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of desserts, obviously. Uh, so if I go here into the desserts, here's Molly again. She's making pumpkin bread and, and strawberry shortcake. Whatever the case is, they're gonna walk you through how to do this. So this is a great kitchen companion. If you have a TV in your kitchen, and I highly recommend Bon Appetit to go with it. Next up, the Lego channel. Did you know there's a Lego channel? It's true. What's in there? Lego content. 
people making Legos, people competing over Legos, people, you know, using Legos to tell stories, all sorts of stuff. Uh, so you can, on here on the homepage, if you want something specific, you can pop in, but there's so much Lego content that they actually have categories for all this. So you can go right over here to skip this screen and it will give you everything. So Lego Star Wars, Ninjago, Minecraft, all of this Lego content. So if you or your kids, I'm not judging either one, if you're really into Legos, then this is an awesome channel. Next up, Stir TV. This is Sinclair Broadcasting's app. So if you've never heard of Sinclair Broadcasting, it's one of the biggest names in media that you don't typically hear because they own all the channels or some of the channels that you like to watch. A lot of local news stations and other networks as well. So anything owned by Sinclair Broadcasting is gonna be fair game. In this case, I can, you know, I can watch classic stuff, or I can go into KUTV, that's the Salt Lake City uh, station that's owned by Sinclair, and I can watch live feeds or on-demand stuff from that. Court TV is gonna be for anybody who loves courtroom drama and wants to try the real thing, uh, you know, right into your veins. Court TV is, uh, is just that. This is live feeds and updates from various trials that are going on now, or maybe classic trials if you wanna brush up on your OJ stuff. So right now, if I wanna follow the Weinstein trial, I can do that. And it's gonna give me live feeds and updates on all this stuff, pretty cool. Nosy, <laughs> Nosy TV is exactly what it looks like here. This is talk show programming, both current and classic stuff. So Mari and Jerry Springer, um, it's got, uh, it concentrates on that. It does have a few other things that you can click through, but let's be honest, if you're downloading Nosy, it's for the daytime talk show content. So if you just can't get enough of that, and you miss those old Jerry Springer shows, it's got a few of those on there. And last up is Dust. Dust is sci-fi content, so TV shows and movies, and most of this stuff is going to be things that you have not heard of, for the most part. Unless you're a real sci-fi junkie, then you may have heard of some of this. Uh, but it's got featured films, it's got, you know, TV marathons, like Mystery Science Theater 3000, absolutely fantastic, of course. Um, and you can click through and get all the sci-fi content that your heart could possibly take. So enjoy, fellow nerds. You're welcome. All right, so that's it. Our top 10 hidden gems on Roku. Let me know what you thought. Or if we missed anything that you absolutely love, hit the comments below. And if we like it too, we'll feature it in the next hidden gems video that we do. So thanks for watching this, guys. If it was helpful, give it a like. If you found a few things that you really love, go ahead and subscribe. We really appreciate you watching today. See you next time.